Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts, and today I have a Dave Allen reaction video for you, and this one is titled Ghost Story, and I love Dave Allen. Honestly, anything that he does on stage to me just has me cracking up. I love his storytelling. I love everything about him. I watched a, a sketch, a ske clip from a sketch show like a few weeks ago where like, it was money stuck under a car wheel. And it had a really, really good ending. But the sketch itself was very slow and starting up, which I'm not used to from Dave. I'm used to just like l laugh out loud like all the way through with his stuff. So... I will do more of his sketch stuff, but for me, I'm edging more towards like doing uh, his stage like shows and things like that because I just think they're brilliant. And this one is titled Ghost Story. And <clears throat> I know it's about a ghost story, but I've never seen this before. So if you haven't seen it before, then I'm presuming you're going to be in for a treat, as am I, because it's Dave Allen. But we'll see. Let's get into this. If there's any other Dave Allen you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I will get around to doing it. But until then, let's get into this one. So far in the series, I haven't told a ghost story. And as this is the last show in the series, I think tonight is tonight. If I may, I would like to tell you a true story. A story about a house that had a bad room, what they call an <laughs> island. Sorry, I don't know why, I'm starting to smile already and I don't even know why he's not, he's not even said anything funny yet and I'm already starting to smile, sorry. That, I, I, I probably look like a weirdo, I'll cover my man. <laughs> that had a bad room, what they call an island, a bad room. It had an atmosphere. People were loath <laughs> to go into it. They didn't wish to have anything to do with it. And if people heard about this room and they wanted to go and see it, the people of the house would say, please don't go near the room. And if you do go near the room, always go with somebody because it has some sort of fatal attraction to draw those people in. And people would open the door and let people look into the room. And the sense of attraction to that room was like a magnetic pull they would want to go in. And that is why the other person was there, always to stop them. And then one young, foolish man decided against all advice that he would spend the night in the room. And people pleaded with him, scolded him, shouted at him, screamed with him, fought with him. And he said, no, I will spend the night in the room to rid us all of this superstitious rubbish. And he went in to that room. And the door, without any human being touching, closed behind him. Uh. And they all waited. And they all waited until about six o'clock in the morning. And from that room, there was the most horrendous, soul-destroying scream. And they all rushed up to the room and they opened the door and there was nothing there at all. No sign of the young man, except a pungent smell of animal and brimstone mixed together and lying on the floor was a shoe at all nothing more and the story was printed in the paper and people came to hear about it and eventually it got to the ears of one of the great jesuits who was an exorcist and he decided that he would go to this room and he would attempt to exercise this evil, this presence, this prince of darkness, whatever it might be that was in that room. And again, the people pleaded. They said, no. And he said, no, I shall do it. But if by chance something happens to me in this room, if the pattern is the same, one of my shoes will remain in that room. And whatever happens, whatever is the secret of the evil of that room, I will write that upon my shoe. And if I am not there, look to my shoe, because the answer 
to this puzzle will be upon the shoe. And he arrived, entered the room, and the door closed behind him. And the people sat downstairs by a fire, and they waited. And the clock, his large grandfather clock, ticked away the time, quietly. And from upstairs they could hear the priest praying. They could smell the incense. And at about 4.30 in the morning, they looked at the dog who was asleep by the fire. And in his sleep, he had begun to growl. And as they looked at him, the heckles on the back of the dog began to rise. And he gave out the most baffle of hung like howls. <laughs> and from the room upstairs, they heard the scream. They run up. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that! That made me jump. I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really enjoying this because, like I said, the, the the sketch show was the kind like it was the thing that like you was waiting for something to happen and nothing was happening. And then, like obviously, with his comedy, it's laugh out loud like every minute. But I really do love his storytelling, and so like with this one, that it's just the case that. I can just sit and watch it all the way through without, without pausing. I've paused it now because he's scared the crap out of me. <laughs> and from the room upstairs, they heard the scream. <laughs> and they ran up with lights, with crosses, with crucifixes, with holy water. Open the door. And all there was was this pungent smell and a shoe and they ran to the shoe they picked it up they turned it over and burnt into the sole of that shoe were two words size nine <laughs> I like that. Like I said to you, it's the case. I do, I do love his storytelling. I, I think he is probably the, the best storyteller that I have ever watched. And yeah, this one, it had a couple of funny moments, but it wasn't meant to be funny for it. That, I, I like that scream kind of, <laughs> it kind of made me jump a bit. I, I, I love horror films. I used to, like when I was a kid, I used to watch horror films all the time. I grew up in the era when not, with Nightmare on Elm Street, Child's Play and like all things like that were coming out and i grew up watching them so i love horrors i don't really watch horrors that much nowadays because one they're not scary two they're too predictable i mean i grew up watching the evil dead like the band version <laughs> not not like the the, the the remake of it where they made it a comedy version like the army of darkness i'm talking about the band version like the cabin in the woods and things like that that like so yeah horror films don't really do much for me nowadays and i, I like more like a sci-fi thriller what did i watch the other day like i Oh, what was it? Um, I can't remember that. I watched a film the other day that was pretty good as well. That I really can't remember the name of it. I might do later. But yeah, so I enjoyed this. It was nice to have that little like jump out of my skin moment. That doesn't really happen that often. Might have to show this one to my daughter before she goes to bed tonight because I'm a good dad. <laughs> Guys, listen, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's any other Dave Ellen you want me to react to, let me know in the comments down below and I will get round to doing it. But until then, thank you all for tuning in. Take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be kind. And I'll see you in the next one.